first serious new questions. New documents revealing a major concern about Mosaic's toxic sinkhole and the future of phosphate mining here in Florida. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameis Newler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Could it happen again? Newly released emails seemingly sounding the alarm that Mosaic's toxic sinkhole could just, just be the tip of the iceberg. New at 6, ABC Action News reporter Ryan Ray shows us why DEP officials appear to be questioning whether companies like Mosaic can safely operate in Florida. In the more than 1,500 pages of emails the Florida DEP released on the toxic sinkhole in Mulberry, there's at least a few that raise more questions than answers. Like this one, when a DEP official told his colleagues this is the fourth or fifth sinkhole within a gyp stack in his time. And quote, I'm thinking gyp stacks aren't entirely compatible with Florida geology. Yet the very plant where two formed in the last couple decades continues to operate. Either make them straighten it up or shut the place down. Ted Jones is one of more than a thousand Mosaic neighbors demanding the company keep testing their private wells. But in the back of their minds, they're anxious about what happens next. Yeah, they're going to be more out there. You can bet on it. More sinkholes. Oh, yeah. The gyp stacks are the necessary evil in making fertilizer. It's the slurry-like byproduct from phosphate during the fertilizer manufacturing process. Companies stack it high in a lined pond. You can see here when the sinkhole opened up this summer, the gypsum and radioactive water with it disappeared, like pulling the plug in a bathtub. There's no direct evidence to tell us exactly why this sinkhole occurred, but because there's a history of sinkholes on this property, a lot of people feel it's just a matter of time before the next one opens up. So the best thing they can do is keep running the plant. It really won't help you very much if they just stop. Dr. Brian Berkey is with the Florida Industrial and Phosphate Research Institute. He hopes this crisis and the DEP's admission that there's an issue will start a discussion about what's next for the industry. I think it's a good conversation to have. You know, where does this industry fit? The world depends on fertilizer, but try convincing people nearby that it's worth it. I don't believe it's safe at all. In Polk County, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News. And in just the last 45 minutes, DEP officials contradicting their own worker in that email we uncovered, telling us in a statement they don't believe gyp stacks are a concern given that the DEP has rules and permit requirements in place. Mosaic releasing this statement late this afternoon, saying in part, quote, our plans must undergo detailed review and approval by state and local authorities, and anyone who questions the necessity of the Florida phosphate industry must consider that there is no substitute for phosphate to feed our nation. The state now offering additional testing to people who live near Mosaic's plant in Mulberry. Testing has found contaminants in 57 private wells near the sinkhole, but officials say the contamination is not from Mosaic.